Welcome back, everybody, to uh, No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and we have just finished uh, farming up some modules here. And so I have a total of 15 plus uh, 7 more. Okay, so we've got uh, 22 modules now. So that'll allow us to purchase, should allow us to purchase two things uh, at the space anomaly. And uh, so we we just kind of walked around and, and farmed those up and just kind of enjoyed the scenery of the planet. And I might actually, the next time I do that, I might keep you with me for a little while just because just it's so neat to walk around and just look at this place. It's such a beautiful planet. I uh, really, really enjoy it. But uh, let's go ahead and call our ship to us now. And we're going to hop back up to the anomaly and uh, go buy a landing platform and something else. We'll have enough to buy two things. Uh, well, at least two things that are worth uh, 10 of the modules. Whoa, VR freeze up. I'll try that again. Here we go. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. And let's get moving here. So we called the anomaly in uh, right right up above us. Right next to our big ass ship there. Here we go. Hopefully the VR doesn't wig out this time going in here like it did last time. Seems to be behaving. So we'll hop up to the uh, building terminal and purchase these two items. And then we're going to go back down to the base, uh, put the landing pad in place, and then we have to look for a Corvax scientist. You know, we could probably actually do that first while we're still out in space. Uh, maybe we will. Maybe we will. But let's buy this stuff first. Okay, so we want to buy the... Where did it go? Here, landing pad. Oh, VR freeze. Ugh. Messes with my head. Okay, so, yeah, we, we can afford that. That's easy, easy stuff. All right, what should we do? Should we get, what is a teleport cable? We already have, we already know that. A teleporter, or no, a teleport, short range teleporter. Okay, we don't really need that yet. That's going to be more useful when we have a larger base. So we could buy the nutrient processor, or we could buy the medium refiner. What does this do? Oh, that's a light. Okay. I think probably at this point in time, this is going to be more useful to us. So let's buy this now. A vital piece of planetary equipment the refiner allows to gather substance. Yeah, we already know that. Allows two different substances to be combined into one. And it must be installed in a habitable base, but it doesn't require additional power. Okay, so we're going to need some dihyde jelly and some magnetized ferrite. We got that covered easily. Nice. Okay. Let's go. Let's go do this. So we might as well, like I said, let's look for our new scientist, Corvac scientist buddy, while we're still um, out in space here. And we'll kill two stones with one bird in the process so let's see we want to go here and we want to go to log expanding the base hire a base scientist salvage frigate what I didn't even know what that was that just popped up oh avalanche salvage frigate monster frigate. Oh, somebody just gave me... What? Really? Chuck Chaco Dude 38 gave me um, some free, some modules. What a nice fella. What a nice fella. Holy crap, that's actually... That's a, a really nice gift. Those things are not easy to come by. Um, I don't know how to communicate to anybody in VR because you can't type in VR. It's not like I can open up a chat window and say thank you to him. Well, I wonder if we could, um... 
If we could find him and at least, like, wave to him or something. <laughs> I mean, that's about all I could do. We got... I don't know where he is, either. Let's look around and see if we can find him. Because I... That, that, that is a really nice gift, you guys. Those things are hard to come by. I don't see a name. Is that a, a player? It must be a player. I don't see a name on him. Let's just go... We'll at least make one attempt to, to find him so we can... You know, shake his hand or wave at him or whatever. How am I going to know who he is, though, if it's not tell, showing me the name tags? Hi! <laughs> Salute! Shake hand. I have no idea if that's even him, though. He's... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Here, give me a high five. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah, they they really need guys, they really need to do something about allowing us to communicate in VR because you know, I can't like just open a chat window and, and type something. Uh, not in VR. And I don't know which one of these guys is Chaco, dude. So, alright, well. Maybe, if that wasn't Chaco, dude, who we just saluted and had a little bit of fun with, maybe he'll pay it forward, and Chaco, dude, will be rewarded in his second life or something. I don't know. <laughs> alright, let's go. Anyway, holy shit, 15 frigate modules? That, that's big. That's huge. Those things are not easy to come by. Well... From what I understand, you can actually come by them easily if you want to be an asshole and blow them off of fr otherwise friendly frigates, okay? So, but if you don't choose to get them that way, then my understanding is that those things are really actually pretty pretty difficult to come by. Oh, may is that what it is, Common? <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, that could be too, actually. That could be too. Um, hmm. That that was a big mistake if he if the, if if that's what he meant to do. You know, it's funny too. I can see tags. Well, sort of kind of see tags while I'm in my ship, but it's not. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, now I can see tags. Hmm. I don't know. VR still needs work. That's for sure. It is definitely playable. It's not. I wouldn't call it broken, but. It's got issues, and they, they need to work on it, but that's okay. You, you, one thing you have to keep in mind is this game is probably the first game that's come out, you know, like a, fir, a full AAA title game that's a real game, as opposed to like a made-for-VR kind of short game that has full VR support. So, you know, it's not... I don't count it as unusual or broken that it's not working perfectly. It definitely works well enough to where you can play it, so... Um, if I was to... I just want to try something here real quick. If I was to... Teleport to nearby player. Yeah, you know what? Common, he might have been trying to put it on his freighter and I just happened to be standing next to him. I don't know. There's not really any way to know. Well... Receive salvage. No, because see, he's given it to other people too. There's no way he did that twice by accident. So he's given that to other people too. And Bomb Theory can thank him, but I can't because I don't know how. If we get over here um, and do this. Yeah, see, he's not hes not anywhere near me for me to transfer anything. So, okay, well. Chaco Dude 38 or whatever your name is, thank you very much. That was very kind of you. And, what, did he just give me something else? <laughs> he gave me more! What the hell? He just gave me 15 more, you guys. I don't know. Come on. See, look, a lot. Lola Garethum. Lola. Yeah. Lola, oh, no. Lo, that's supposed to say logarithm, but it's Lola Garethum. Yeah, it looks like he's deliberately giving those out. Well, that's very kind of him. 
Okay, well... Thank you very much, Choco Dude. I'm sorry I can't actually thank you, but I do appreciate that. Very nice of you. Okay. Let's go. Oh, he said he's over at the Nexus. Here, let's run over there real quick. I wonder which one of these guys would be him. I wonder if he's if he's hacked something. That that's a shitload of friggin' modules. He says I just sell them, but he's not selling them, he's giving them away. One and a half million each a stack? Hmm. Yeah, how did you get so many? Let's just see what he says. See what he see what he comes up with, because I'm curious how he how he got so many. I'm starting to think be a little suspicious here that maybe he's hacked something. YouTube, how to how to get duplicate items right now? Yeah, that's mm, that's a little exploity, I think. Yeah, okay. So he just admitted that he's exploited this. So you know what we're gonna do? I'm not going to go for that, you guys. I play legit. Sorry, I'm not gonna work. Um, so where did, where did those go? Right here. I'm putting those back in his inventory. Okay. Not gonna do that, man. If he, if he would have gotten those legitimate, and he was gifting them out, that's one thing, but he just admitted that he exploited those, so we're not gonna do that. I don't roll that way. It spoils the game for me, and it's just not legit. I like to do everything legit. That's the way I am. Okay, anyway, let's go. So, we need to find our... Uh, we need to find our... The, the science dude. So, I guess there's two ways we could do this. We could either go into the map and warp. The less expensive way to, would be to do it from the terminal on the space station. Yeah, he, he admitted to exploiting that, so now we know. Alright, so let's see, we want to go to... We want to go to the Terminus. And this system here has the science, science dude. Hinden Engineering High Supply Station Sigma. Yeah, that was one of the systems that we went to when we were doing our, our grind for a billion. So let's just teleport straight there so we can pick him up. And then we're going to head back to our base and we're going to put that um, launch pad in. So and then we'll have a launch pad for our base. And it'll be a beautiful thing. Because then our ship won't be like over the side of the cliff the next time we, we decide to teleport home. <laughs> All right, where is our boy at here? Expanding the base. I don't see the marker. All right, let's look at this. Um, Hyra Base Scientist. Okay, so we've got that activated. And we went to the place that the terminus said we can hire one, but I'm not seeing anything actually marked. All right, well let's go. Hmm, let's go to the back room where the you know where the alien guys usually hang out and see if he's he's if he's back there. I'm 
I'm sure we would have checked this, but let's just look anyway. Yeah, class C. Okay. Okay. You look very suspiciously like like my uh, overseer. You even have almost, I think, almost the same name. Hmm. Okay, maybe he can be two places at one time. Entity Lotno. Lotno of noise, something, something. Uh, his lights flash as they approach. They offer a friendly greeting and then pose a question. Traveler, the Korvac Convergence, ash blah, 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 tissue for the blah, Convergence reward help. The life form makes a scan of my head and display the results on their data pad. They point excitedly at my brain and they look at me expectantly. Uh, <laughs> no. Sorry. Nope. Not going to happen. Yeah, well, you can go ahead and be stung because I would prefer to keep my brain intact. I know I probably could have said yes and gotten something cool for it, but... If I was doing this for realsies, <laughs> let nobody tap into my brain. What the hell, man? What do you think this is? Yeah, let's get some nanites. Okay, well, hmm. Usually we see the marker, but I don't see it. So I guess that means we just go talk to some Carvax guys randomly, right? I mean, not sure what else to do. Not sure what else to do. Talk to this guy. Technician entity something something. Speech, blah blah, operational, blah blah, entity, blah blah blah, traveler, blah blah blah. Electronic life pauses their work, looks up and focuses their mass lights on my visor. Uh, we have some of these. Let's give it to him. See what happens. Technician entity something something accepts my gift with gratitude. And we got a standing for doing that. Okay. Well, he's not the guy we're after. Engineering entity. Wouldn't he be a... He'd be a scientist, wouldn't he? I mean, duh, he is a scientist. That's what we're looking for, is a scientist. Here we go. Scientist entity something something. Unknown life form. I passed my test. Something. I am free to explore. Free... This is the guy. Okay. Uh, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have a base? Yes, I do. A science terminal? Uh, yes, I do. Think of all that might be done. The Corvax is happy, overjoyed to see me. They seem to have just completed some rite of passage for their species, necessitating them to go out into the universe and help some old guy somewhere build up his base. That's kind of reading between the lines, right? Uh, the scientist offers to join my base if I provide them with a science terminal. Dude, you've got it, man. Let's do this. Yes! E oh, I can't see my hands. Uh, e Think not of payment. Scanning you while you sleep will be ru- What? Dude. You do not come anywhere near me while I sleep, okay? Let's make sure we got that, uh, you know, have that established up front. If you do, I'll electrocute you. Okay. Um, there we go. Target outside system can solve galaxy map. What? Expanding the base. Okay, so we got our scientist. We got our scientist. Let's go ahead and teleport. You, I could have swear you're my, supposed to be my dude. No, you're a different guy. Okay. Consult galaxy map. What is that? What does that even mean? Here, let's look at this for a minute. Return to the overseer. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes those messages that pop up are like out of sequence or something. They're little, they can be really weird. All right, let's go home. And we want to go to Toxeter's outpost. Yeah, you know what, though, Common, earlier before you joined up, I actually, <laughs> I, I don't know if I hit the freighter or if I hit a friendly ship, but I was, you know, I was doing the little combat rescue quest, and I hit hit a good guy and called in the Sentinels, so. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, that's just the way it goes, man. Um, Return your base, and you discovered, what? Okay, I don't know what that means. So, let's go ahead and talk to our overseer now, and our scientist guy should be in there now, too. There he is! No, you know what? I guess the guy we saw, his name was just a little bit different. 
He looks very much similar. You know what? Do you have a brother named Rufa Rufa Noob instead of Rufa Nurb? Anyway, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's talk to him now. Things are going well, friend, but it will not be long before violence follows us here. It is inevitable. If I had some microprocessors, I could steal a march on fate. Yes, I could design a weapons terminal suitable for a Viking armorer. The overseer asked me for microprocessors in order to design a weapons terminal. The scientist should be able to assist with the task. Okay. Uh, Merchant Rufio has been helpful so far. I have no reason to distrust them. I shall find them the micro microprocessors they need. Uh, all right, so how many microprocessors? Oh, you just want one microprocessor? Dude, we got that covered easily. We got that covered easy. Should we talk to our, our new scientist pal? A fine base traveler, as of course befits your honorable status. Oh, Corvax shall be so happy here. The Corvax is brimming with enthusiasm. Neither their shell nor their walls of uh, nor the walls of my base seem able to contain them. Um, yeah, well, let's welcome him first. Honor to witness the monolith of the Traveler. Honor. But please, Corvax, contribute. Take these blueprints, lubricant and acid, uh, liquids close to Corvax hearts. Okay? Thanks, buddy. That was kind of you. Fungal mode and mor uh, mold and morite to make the acid. All right. Didn't he also give us lubricant? There we go. Lubricant. Acquire a microprocessor too. Craft microprocessors from. Oh. Traveler harvest marrow bulb and Corvax will do more. We'll create plans for microprocessors in advanced refiners. Oh shit. <laughs> I just bought one too and I could have waited. Oh, that's all right. Corvax will also clean windows while you are gone. Oh, okay. Yeah, you clean the windows, man. That's that's very kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> the Corvax is desperate to please, showered me with praise and offers of assistance. They tell me travelers are to be honored, raised above all others. What have I done to earn such esteem? The scientist requires marrow bulb and cobalt. Materials found underground. They will be able to use this substance to craft blueprints for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Joy! Our home will be light and our windows will be clean. Of course. We need to have clean windows. But remember what I told you. You stay away from me while I'm sleeping, okay? All right, so here's what we could do. I mean, we've got microprocessors already stored up, but um, I'm wondering if we if we should just go get whoa shit, go get that stuff anyway. I'll show you. Uh oh, did our ship go off the side of the cliff again? It sure did. <laughs> there it is. That's why we need to get. That's why we need to get a uh, a landing pad in place. In fact, you know what? Let's do that first. Let's do that right now. We got to do a landing pad. So, what do we need to do? A landing pad. Structures or tech? Probably structures. Large structures. No. Specialist? No? Okay. I wasn't uh, actually paying attention to what those were under. So maybe they are under tech. General? Yeah, there we go. Okay, landing pad. So we need 10 metal plating, one or two ion batteries, and two microprocessors. All right. Okay, we need another ion battery. And uh, what was the other thing it said we need? Oh, we need a two processors. Okay, actually, here, let's do this. Um, go to storage. There we go. Okay, so now we need to figure out 
Yeah, you know what? I don't. We don't need to go down to a cave and get mineral bulb because we already have the processors. Where do we want to put our landing pad? That is the question. That's the question of the day. I'm trying to think. I kind of want to save this flattish area out here for, you know, for the biodomes for our farm. So let's go look over here. I'm thinking maybe putting it somewhere right in this neck of the woods here. Alright, so let's see what we got here to work with in terms of size. So that was under tech and general and landing pad. Okay, so if we put it here, um, it looks like it'll be, it looks like it'll be even with our our door and we might have to pull the ramp up oh wait no it's not gonna let me do that because it has to turn green doesn't it we could put it here cannot build missing components what Wait a minute. What the hell? Did I not just make 10 sheet metals in two batteries? I'm confused. What just happened? It's like It's like I set it down somewhere already. Uh, do you guys see a landing pad anywhere? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. How in the hell did that happen? Well, I know how it happened. I was probably, you know, I thought I was pointing to there and then I was actually pointing out here. Oh, jeez, Louise. Doggone it. That's not what I wanted to do. Hey, you cut that out. <sighs> okay, um, hmm, that is not what I wanted to do, you guys. Okay, shit. Well, I guess what we're going to do, uh, no, that's not what I want to do. We're going to pick it up, and we're going to lose some of the materials in the process, unfortunately. And now we've got a big ass hole. <laughs> oh shit! All right, I, I guess I'm gonna have to try and fill that in. I hate working with terrain manipulation though, because it's really buggy, or at least it has been in my experience. <sighs> okay, let's try this again. So we probably only got like 50% of our resources back, right? Oh, no, we got them all back. Really? Did they change that so you get everything back now? That If they did, that's awesome. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe, maybe this isn't quite such a bad blunder after all. See, I don't know how to, um, in the, in VR mode, I don't know how to go into the, you know, the, the camera mode like you can do in normal. Let's go general landing pad. See, there's nothing here that tells me how to get into the camera mode. But doesn't that doesn't that have to be green? To actually install? Cannot build invalid position. Can you just like build this any place you want to, or does it have to be attached to the base? 
Oh, okay. If it doesn't have to be attached to the base, let's um let's go over here. You know what would be cool is if if we actually hung it out over the, the cliff a ways. You know what I'm going to do, you guys? I'm going to... I'm going to log out of the game in VR and come back into normal mode. Because I need to... I want to change the name of my base anyway. Uh, it's just so much easier to build in normal mode than it is in VR. So I think that's what we'll do. So um, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. And... Um, we might end up going going ahead and recording the next session in normal mode instead of in VR mode, so I can so I can get that down and get our base renamed to something better than Toxiter's Outpost. I hate that name, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Come and hang out with us on Discord, and uh, also I do live stream several times a week, so you can find the links to both of those places in the about section of the YouTube channel. And I'd like to come and have you hang out with me on a live stream. That would be really cool. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day, guys. We'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.